Hi, I'm Linda from paperboutiquewithlinda.com. I recently purchased the Anna Griffin window box card and die kit and I love it. First, I'm going to show you the kit and then how to use the cutting dies. This is Anna's kit and it comes with enough supplies to make 20 cards and an instruction sheet, as you can see, with examples of her beautiful box cards. I like to store my embellishments and die cuts in little plastic bags. I'd love to hear how you all store your Anna Griffin supplies. I like to separate them by color and sometimes by flower type. The accessories you get with this kit are beautiful. These particular embellishments are flocked. These are gold. They're beautiful, beautiful out of gold mirror paper. Once again, tons and tons of embellishments to make at least 20 cards and probably more. You also get sentiments, and let me just take a couple out for all occasions. I love these little sentiment flags. They're so cute. And it even includes a sticker for the back of her card, more embellishments, envelopes, and these are for the side panels. And they're in all sorts of different colors and designs. And you also get the cards to make the actual window box. Well, let me just quickly put these back in and I wanna show you one of the window box cards I made using this kit. There's a lot in there as you can see. Let me bring in, I'll move this aside. I love this window box card. What I did is I did not use contrasting paper on the side panels, but you could. I just decided to do one look and then I'll have you go ahead and look inside it. But I just think it's just a beautiful, beautiful design. And on the back, she even included stickers so you could write your sentiment. So that's um, the card that was made directly from her kit. Now I want to mention for those of you that don't have Anna's kit and you want to make a box card, this is a box card I made. You can use your silhouette or Cricut to cut the files. Lori Whitlock has a Cricut cartridge titled All Occasion Box Cards. You can buy the entire cartridge or just one image. Cutting files are also available from the Silhouette online store. For this box card, I used Lori Whitlock's Hello Telephone card from her Cricut cartridge. I just think it's so cute. I just wanted to show you that there are other alternatives. Now I wanna show you the real reason I bought this kit. And I'm probably gonna make a mess of it. But these are all the cutting dies that come with the kit. And the great thing about it is Anna has thought of everything. There are three panel dies here for the top panel and the side panels. So you don't have to use one die and cut it three times. So it makes quick work. The same is true for the inserts. And I'll show you more about these when I go to cut cut them. This is also for the back panel for the sentiments and then this is what we're going to use to make the box card. Now before I pause and set up the cuddle bug, I want to show you a card that I made using those dies. I cut the card out of this beautiful just plain cardstock and I had some of this paper from my stash so you can see I cut all of the pieces using her dies. This embellishment was from my stash. These flowers are from the window box card kit. I just happen to have them. What I like to do to give it a finished look is on the back, instead of a white sticker, I put this. You could put a white sticker so you could put your sentiment back there. But I figured I had enough of the sentiments on the front. Well, at this point, what I'm gonna do is pause and then I wanna show you how to actually cut this beautiful box card. I set up my cuddle bug and now I have the large cuddle bug plates. I have my A plate, I have my mat, my rubber mat, I have my B plate. Let me just move this to show you. Then I have the box die and I have a sheet of paper that I've cut approximately six inches wide. So it, it just covers it and will fit into my cuddle bug. Again, this is cutting side face up. My paper 
And then here is my B plate and I'm trying to struggle with this on top of it. So let me see if I can get that straight. I'm having a little trouble lining that up with one hand here. Let me move that just a little bit. Anna makes it look so easy on television. I think I have it. Let me go ahead and put it in the cuddle bug. And just to let you know, there is a lot of noise with this cuddle bug. And this one really does make a lot of noise. And it's a little harder to cut than some of the other ones. As you can see, I'm struggling just a little bit with that. there we go now i'm going to just pause for just a second and then i'll i'll come back and we'll bring it out of the cuddle bug machine so you can see now i took it out of the cuddle bug and then all i'm going to do is fold it on the scored lines and it's super easy to do i love the way anna's thought of everything one does not fold so that becomes the back and as you can see you're just going to put glue. I put glue here. You could put some really strong score tape. And here's the box already assembled. Now the other thing that it was included in this kit are these little tabs. And I just want to show you a little trick. I put them all going the same direction. As you can see, this fold goes this way and then this fold goes towards the back. And I do all three of them the same. I start in the front with a little glue and I use it as a spacer. I put this side down and then I try to get that as evenly as possible. I think you can see that. Get it as evenly as possible. Then what I do is I go and do the back. I put the back in and get it right up against the back edge as you can see there. And then once I do that, I put the middle one in last. And it really doesn't matter. You don't have to be perfect with them. Let me, let me show you. I'll get this out of the way. If you look, these are not perfectly even by any means. But you'll never notice it once you get all of the decorations on. And then this is just the side panels that I cut and it adhered. And then the back panel. And then I cut two of the back panel. Super, super easy. And then I glued my flowers just to the front of that. Well, I would like to thank you for watching and please visit me at www.paperboutiquewithlinda.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.